Monday ratings, second lowest of all time again. Yeah, lowest lowest ever in uh, no second no, tied for lowest ever in eighteen to forty nine with the May fourth show. This was bad though, because because um, I mean. This, to me, was much worse than the week before. Even though the week before did that horrible number that everybody freaked out about, this number was worse because, you know, number one day after the pay-per-view, but no, and a pay-per-view that they, it's not just a pay-per-view. It was a pay-per-view that they hot-shotted several different things to make sure you watched Raw. You know, usually the pay-per-view is the pay-per-view. This one, between the Mysterio thing, the the women's title match, um, I don't know that the, the Bray Wyatt thing was more for, for SmackDown, but still. And, you know, Randy Orton and Big Show, they'd spent five weeks building up that match for the pay-per-view to move it to the TV to, to try to save the rating. And, you know, it <laughs> all of that I combined, tried to tell you, Dave. What? Randy Orton and the Big Show in 2020. It just for means nothing. Weeks. Well... I mean, they did do better than the rest of that hour, but it's still, yeah. I mean, it still did terrible. 0.42 hour in the demo, which is the lowest hour in any uh, in the demo in the history of Raw. It was lower than a lot of weeks of AEW when, when AEW was head to head. Although you know it's higher than AEW is doing now with the pandemic, but lower than AEW did many weeks early on. And, um, yeah, just, what can you say? I mean, just, this was the worst raw number in history. I mean, not, you know, I mean, you can, you know, realistically, be, be, considering how many things they threw out there, you know, I mean, the week before was just a show. This was not just a show. This was a big show. And it did, like, like you know, they hot-shotted with Chris, bring back Christian, even though, you know, whatever. Um, you know, all that stuff, like I said before, nostalgia is only going to work for a couple weeks and then you're in worse shape than when you started. And that's where we are now. We're in worse shape than when you started. And now things are bad. Um, next week may do better just because they got McIntyre and Ziggler in a title rematch and Asuka and, um, uh, Sasha Banks in a title match. So, I mean, they should. Like, but here's the thing. I mean, it should be up, but what's up? 1.7 million? You know what I mean? Even up is bad now. And, and, and then wait until these other sports come back. The NBA comes back. Cause here's the other thing too, is that historically, cause we're, we're in July, July and all, okay. The, for Raw, historically, okay, January, February, March is, is, is strong because it's WrestleMania season. But the other strong months are July and August because July and August is after the NBA and before the NFL. And everybody, everything in television, for the most part, is in reruns. So Raw usually has, unless it's an Olympic year, Raw usually has really good months in July and August. So we're in a good part of the year. Granted, it's the pandemic and there's no crowds. Um, and they're doing just these ridiculous numbers. You know that, um, of course, it's not fair because last year, this week, was the... Um, Remember the Raw reunion show when they brought Hogan and Flair and Sean and oh, everybody yeah. all everybody but Steve no Steve Austin too it's Hogan Flair Steve Austin Shawn Michaels and a million other people um, the same week last year so so usually we talk about they're down like you know twenty thirty percent so this year from last year they were Raw is down from last year listen to this forty seven percent overall. 60% in 18 to 49 and 76% in 18 to 34. Do these 18 to 34 numbers are wretched. Those NXT 18 to 49 or 18 to uh, 34 last week well, and 12 was, to was, was 12, 12, 17. 12, oh my god. The 12 to 17 and 18 to 34 men were atrocious. What wasn't I think it was 6000 6000 men, men 18 to 34 and 5000 12 to 17. In the entire United States. Yeah, there's something real wrong there. Um, I mean, and I don't know what it is. I mean, I, I cannot tell you because, it, because again, um, I mean, it, 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 it does, you know, NXT does attract mostly a 50 plus audience. Okay. Actually, medians about 56, 56, 57. Okay. But still, 
there should be it's it's like uh, there should be some people under the age of 35 who are interested in the show i don't i don't even know how to explain you know why i mean it's like that last week's show was no different could be just an aberration or whatever but it's no different from any other week it, it but it was just yeah that was bad raw was i mean smackdown was low although not um smackdown was actually slightly up um from from the week before uh you know basically about the same as the week before but still you know lower i guess it's doing the best of the three in a sense um we'll see how they do this week i don't you know I don't know how they'll do. We can, you know, that's that's a different issue. But, um, you know, I mean, if it's if it's up to show quality, if 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 show quality has anything to do with it, it's gonna it'll be a blowout. But show quality rarely does. I mean, it's usually about the main event. I don't know how big Karrion Cross and Dijakovic is going to be as a main event, but we'll see that that'll be tomorrow. But um, but Raw, man, I mean, they're they're it's it's not just that they're in trouble. It's that they don't even have anywhere to turn. And they're doing the same thing they always d have done. And they're they're going with people who are, are you know, here, here's the thing with, with Raw. And you, this is, and it was really evident on the, the, the pay-per-view to me was really evident between the Bray Wyatt thing and uh, some of the other stuff that they're doing. Um, they, they are, they're like out. They're they're like WCW in in 2000 or 1999 when 1999 more than 2000 in 1999 when I would watch WCW and every week they were just turn people away and the house show numbers were horrible and I would talk to people you know that were just I'd see around and you know that were big time fans and that that were big time WCW fans who stopped watching and it was very clear to me that they did not get their audience like they were way out of tune with their audience and that show on sunday uh, to me was scary because you know the, the booking is not as stupid as wcw's was but they are every bit as out of tune with their audience um watching that show and it's not the wrestlers because the wrestlers are very good um it's actually one of the most talented rosters that they've ever had but the creative is atrocious they you know and the raw numbers you know i mean that that seth and ray thing you know and i mean the bray Wyatt thing and the seth and ray thing are the two ones that i'm most talking about seth and ray thing was just whatever and that you know they had legitimate curiosity to it but it was not curiosity that led to people wanting to see it it was probably curiosity that led to people not wanting to see it honestly you know because it's like you can have a, a you know a lot of weird interest but if it's something gross like pulling a guy's eyeball out that's interest that leads you to i'm not watching this i have no interest in in this this is because it's like this is something that like if you're you know that if like if you're watching with like your family okay or you know whatever it's like you are you know this is that they're making you embarrassed to be a wrestling fan because any person with like a half a brain walking in going like they're pulling somebody's eyeball out really well of course not well what's this all you know so it's like that's uh when you're that far off base you're in trouble and i don't know how to get you back on base because that means you're you're, you're they're off the rails right now unfortunately for them so um you know i mean all isn't lost because they have money for four years to survive on this. But, um, you know, another thing happened in um, this, is, this is actually a real big story. Um, so what happened? Do you, do you hear about the, the Italy, the Italy deal? No. OK, WWE lost their TV with Sky in Italy and, and the different skies are, are, are dropping them like that happened in the UK. And they dropped them because it's, it's a combination of, of the high price that WWE charged and the low ratings that they delivered, which is sounding familiar. So Sky in Italy dropped them and picked up AEW. So AEW is going to start there on July 31st. And, you know, AEW, all of a sudden, these stations, these sports stations that want wrestling, all of a sudden you've got this thing of it's an American brand of wrestling. You can get it for a lower price. And probably the feeling is he probably won't do the same ratings, but they're not going to like charge you a big price for it 
uh, because they got, you know, this thing in their head, you know, of, of what it's worth based on um, what the numbers used to be, you know, I mean, it, and, it, and I, obviously these companies all, you know, took the deal, Sky and everything like that. But then the numbers plummeted, you know, in the UK and especially, you seen the, by the way, do you see the latest UK numbers? No. Oh God, they're in last week's issue. Um, I think raw may have been like, I don't want to do the wrong numbers. Um, let me, but they're very bad. Oh no, they're worse than bad. Um, let me get to the, the Canadian numbers weren't too bad, but the, um, let me get this right here. Um, all right. Um, NXT did this 10,800 viewers. Um, Raw did 17,000 viewers. Sm we're smacked down. Um, SmackDown did. Uh, I'm looking for this. Maybe I didn't even put it in. Uh, SmackDown did less than 10,800 viewers. There was a Wrestle Talk podcast that did 9,600 viewers. So SmackDown probably did about the same as a Wrestle Talk podcast. Um, it did less than Impact. Um, way less, obviously, than AEW. AEW did far more than anyone, um, but it's on a better station. But the key to this, and now this is not, now people are going to go, well, it's on from one to four. Or one to, you know, SmackDown one to three and NXT one to three and, and Raw one to four AM. So of course it's not gonna do good. These are live plus seven numbers. This includes a week of DVR viewing. This is not just live. And keep in mind that that um Raw and SmackDown, you know, I mean, you know, Raw used to not all that long ago do a hundred thousand as a bat a hundred thousand was a bad number, and now we're at seventeen thousand. And the week before, it did uh, sixty-one thousand four hundred. So a lot of that. Now this the week that I'm quoting was the week that all the, you know, um, what what if you know all the the sexual harassment stuff came out, and that was really big in the UK. So some people have speculated that, um, that that's what drove the ratings down for the one week. But th those numbers are, you know, UK was. Uh, the number two market for the WWE behind the United States. And ha I mean, not just was, it has been for years and years. It, it was the second highest when it comes to um, television rights. Um, they were, you know, they, they, until about a year ago, they did phenomenal live business. It was only really the last, the last tour that they did um, last year re had really fallen off. I mean, it was, that, that was noticeable. That was a big notable difference. But, um, yeah, it's like the decline in the U.S. is actually worse in the U.K. Canada's still up there. Canada's still doing well. Um, but um, U.S. is starting to suffer, and, and it's going to get worse once when, when sports starts. And U.K. is just – U.K. and Italy. In Italy, they, don't, they lost their TV.